Hey guys, what's happening? So, this just showed up last night, um, FedEx. But uh, got a couple more uh, RX 470s on eBay. Looks like they originally were 249, but uh, these are actually going for really cheap on eBay right now because people are worried about the uh, DAG file slash Ethereum. So this is a four gig RX 470 mining edition. And you can tell it's a mining edition because it only has one video output. It doesn't have the, like, the HDMI or display port. So, this was kind of confusing at first when I saw it on eBay because this is actually the RX 570 fan shroud, but at the same time, it doesn't have the back plate, which I kind of don't like. I wish it had the back plate. But uh, right now, these are the best bang for the buck, I think. You know, I, I did some other RX 470 uh, reviews, but because you, you can still get 30 mega hash for a card that costs 50 bucks. And like I said in my previous video, my. Uh, <clears throat> GTX or GeForce GTX 1660 only does 24 mega hash. So a $50 card gets more mega hash than a $250 card NVIDIA. But uh, yeah, the reason why I didn't have a problem buying these 4 gig is because I know their Ethereum Classic is uh, lowering the DAG file size to 2.8 gig. So these will still be able to mine for a long time. So uh, yeah, so we'll get this out, we'll get it tested and uh, see what kind of mega hash we can get out of this. But I don't know what kind of memory this is, like Hynix or Samsung or Epiletta, but uh, we'll see. We'll plug it in, see what kind of hashing we can get. So this is the Power Color Mining Edition RX 470. I definitely have issues with these cards here. Um, yeah, the eBay seller said that they uh, were working from a pole environment, but this one only shows up as 32 meg of video RAM, so I can't even start any mining. This one just kind of behaves odd. I can't even get to start mining. All right, so I got this thing to work again. So I had to reflash the factory BIOS, but it wasn't the factory BIOS for this thing because I can't find it anywhere, the mining BIOS. But I found uh, the real power color 470. Different, different, the card, the PCB looks the same, the car is the same. The main thing is I wanted to make sure the memory was the same. So this actually has Samsung memory. Where it's just, if you're gonna do that kind of stuff, just make sure it's, it's the, the BIOS for the correct memory. Because they either come with either Hynix or Samsung, so. All right, so I'm running the uh, RX 470 cards for a day or so now, and uh, I'm not really a big fan of Samsung memory. Um, all my Samsung memory cards that I, I have, the Polaris cards, don't seem to run as good as the Hynix cards. I get way more uh, stable hash rate out of a Hynix memory card than I do Samsung. But uh, out of this FXS right here next to it, I'm getting 28 mega hash. And these, if I push it, I can get about 26, but then it gets kind of unstable. And, and I did do the BIOS mod, the player's BIOS editor mod, the memory timings. Let me show you this real quick at Hive. So the top two are the uh, power colors. Again, 20 poor, I, I'm not really pushing the cards right now, just because uh, it kept on crashing on me last night. I got frustrated. So 24.7801, 24.82, .7801, and then the one below it is the... Uh, XFS or X, XFX and uh, that's running 28.23 um, but uh, yeah I mean I probably won't be getting any more of these cars I already know what they can do um, the problem is when you buy them on eBay um, you don't really know what you're getting you know you, it doesn't it, usually the people won't kind of tell you what kind of memory is in the card so but I actually I wasn't even able to get these things to mine I had to actually download the stock firmware and put it on these things because Whatever firmware this person had on there originally was didn't I couldn't get it to start mining and crash the system, so I had to first go back to stock, then I had to BIOS mod it, then um, so at least I got them working. So for a while I wasn't sure if I was going to get these to to go, but all right, cool. So I got some uh, more power color, the three fan edition RX 570s come in, and uh, we'll open those up and do a review on those. But if you saw this. This is my 3D print uh, mining rig frame. So if you want that, it's on my thing first page. Well, if you have a 3D printer that's big enough to print it. But, alright, cool. Uh, have fun. Awesome.